Hello and welcome. It's always a joy to cover a game here at Allen Road. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Leeds United versus Kerala Blasters. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Number two, Luke Ayling. Number five, Robin Cock. Number 12, Taylor Adams. Number 28, Weston McKinney. Number 11, Jack Harrison. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, they're playing the same shape, really. So it's all about getting control of that central area. And which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game? And the match begins. Weston McKenney. Nyonto. Junior Firpo. Well, not the pass he had in mind. And he's broken free. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Bamford. Wilfried Nyonto. How about the cross? Adams. Very quick thinking there. Plenty of support here. Oh, great attacking play. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Aronson. Now, what can they do from here? McKenney. And the keeper was up to the task. Trying to pick out a teammate, and he clears the danger. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Marko Leszczewicz. Well, they couldn't keep it. Koch. The ball with Junior Firpo here. Just the challenge that was required. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Superb block. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Weston McKenney. And he read it well defensively. He's in control of the situation. And offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there.
Here it is now, a substitution. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And let's give credit to the defending. Ailing. Teammates available. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Not at all problematic for the goalkeeper. Well, as you can see, Leeds have had the majority of the ball, but they haven't done enough with it, particularly in the midfield areas, where their passing has been far too safe. And that needs to change quickly if they're to win this one. Adrian Luna. And he's in. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Let's see about the delivery. On well, a time for composure on the ball. Oh, this is looking promising. Delivered into the area here. Oh, a goal! How about that for a degree of difficulty? Simply off the charts. Well, here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Junior Firpo. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Well, I've been disappointed with his game so far. As those touches show us, he just hasn't been getting into the right sort of areas. That's got to be improved if they're to get back into this one. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Sing. Might be a chance here. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Over it comes. Well, no end product. Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. <whistles> now, sending it in. And the problem not completely solved. 
Can he finish? Tremendous block. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. In goes the cross, but absolutely no support there. Weston McKenney. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And crossed in there. Well, no problems defensively. Tyler Adams. The ball with Junior Firpo here. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. And played the pass well. And they have possession again. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Luis Sinistera. This might have potential. This corner could be useful to them. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, it has come to nothing. Rodrigo. It has to be a smart stop here. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? So a personnel change then. And over comes the corner. Well, he failed to get it away properly. And I think the threat has been averted. Can they hit on the break? He's in with a chance. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, he got the touch on the ball, and so a corner it'll be. <laughs> Played over. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Well, it's going to be a great finish here. These Leeds fans are ramping up the noise now. They're surely oh, it's another... developing nicely for them here. Oh, he's blocked it. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. He's driven in the corner. And that's a high quality stop. Well, it may not count for anything, but that was a great save, wasn't it? And over it comes. Still not clear. Well, they can bring it out now. No way through. Could be a chance to break here. 
Well, that is how to play advantage. Sinistera are showing a willingness to attack as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. And possession lost, intercepted. Three minutes of added time here. Oh, he's given it away. Christensen. Adams. Rodrigo. So the referee blows for full time. And I'll tell you what, not a great day at the office for Leeds United. No points picked up. Well, Derek, today just wasn't good enough. They lacked a cutting edge, they played too slowly, and they made many mistakes at the back. It was really disappointing. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.